In less than two weeks from today, LeBron James is going to turn 39. Let me repeat that. 39. In basketball age, LeBron is supposed to be sitting at his home right now enjoying his billions. But the fact that he's still capable of doing these kinds of stuff at year 21 just puts him in a league of his own. Right here, spinning. Oh. Underneath. Oh. LeBron just turned it over and lost the ball. Numbers for the Lakers. Reeves alley oh, with the Well, in this video, I'm going to dig deeper at how LeBron manages to defy father time, and I'll also talk about the big improvements in his game as well as his strong performance in this current season. But before we get to the good stuff, here's a crazy stat that will blow your mind. Here's a list of the top five players who played until their 21st season, along with their respective point averages. Kevin Garnett is in the fifth spot with 3.2 points a ball game, followed by Robert Parrish, Dirk, and Vince Carter who both averaged above seven points per game. But see, above everyone else, there's King James sitting on his throne averaging 25 points a ball game at year 21. And if you take a look at the list of most prolific scorers age 35 and beyond, you'll see LeBron's name appearing not just one, but in five different seasons where he averaged at least 25 points per 36 minutes. His longevity and sustained greatness all these years are truly something else. And according to LeBron, here's how he keeps father time at bay. Um, it's definitely more mental than physical at this point in my career. Just uh, mentally, you know, showing up, you know, hours and hours and hours before the actual game to start to prepare my mind, body, and soul. I want to cont uh, continue to define father time that for so long has, <clears throat> everybody said, has been undefeated. Um, so, you know, trying to give him one loss. LeBron reportedly spent around one and a half million dollars on his body to keep it in tip-top shape year after year, and so far this season his investment has been paying off big time once again. As of this recording, LeBron is currently averaging 25.3 points, 7.5 rebounds, 6.7 assists, and 1.5 steals on 55.1% shooting from the field while logging 33.7 minutes of playtime at age 38. And during his first run in the in-season tournament, LeBron dominated the competition by averaging 26.4 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists on shooting 56.8% shooting from the field, and check this out, 60.6% .6 from the three-point line to become the inaugural in-season tournament MVP while carrying the Lakers to an unblemished 7-0 record. He set a new record for the fastest 30-point game in Lakers history in the semifinals against the New Orleans Pelicans when he only needed 22 minutes and 32 seconds to reach that mark while shooting 9 of 12 from the field and a perfect 4 of 4 from deep. What is more interesting about this game is that LeBron even drew multiple charges, showing how badly he wants to win this tournament. Even at this late stage in his career, James proved that he is still a reliable go-to guy in crunch time for the Lakers. He demonstrated it in the two in-season tournament games that came down to the wire. Both of Los Angeles' in-season tournament wins over Phoenix were decided by exactly three points. In both of those games, the Lakers ran the offense mostly through James, who, during group play, dished out a big-time assist to Cam Reddish to put the Lakers up by five points with 70 seconds remaining. In the quarterfinals, James scored or assisted on eight of the Lakers' 12 points in the last five minutes of the game. So, in a winner-takes-all situation, it's still hard to find a player better suited to lead your team to a victory than LeBron. And we can have arguments about the value of this in-season tournament, but the Lakers winning the tournament and LeBron winning the MVP are not coincidences. While most players at this age are already retired or transitioning to a mentoring or benchwarmer role, James still performs at a high level with great numbers to back it up at nearly 39 years of age. But how can the oldest player in the NBA still be a main factor? Well, as I mentioned earlier, LeBron shot the lights out during the in-season tournament by hitting 60% of his shots from beyond the arc. And in my opinion, this is one of the main reasons why LeBron is still thriving in year 21. Overall, he's shooting 40.5% from deep, which is just a tick below his career high of 40.6% back when he was playing in Miami in 2012. His ability to hit the three ball on the move is one of the things that he really improved on this season. Here's a simple pin down for LeBron set by AD. And when Willems got caught in the screen, 
LeBron just sets his feet and confidently knocks this one through. Now, speaking of his confidence, LeBron has also been hitting these casual step-back threes as if he's just doing shooting drills. And when he gets it going, he'll just pull from the parking lot and splash a bunch of logo threes. And if he's hitting these, it just makes him unguardable at this point. If you break LeBron's three-point shooting into detail, he's actually shooting at a high clip and above league average from the left wing and top of the key. From 2020 to last season, LeBron only shot 35.7% from three, and his efficiency from distance has been a huge asterisk throughout his career. But so far this season, LeBron is shooting almost as efficiently as Steph Curry from range. And if this keeps up, I don't see anyone stopping him on the offensive end, since he finally wrapped the final loophole on his game. Now, aside from his remarkable improvement from three, LeBron has also been insanely dominant and efficient in putting buckets around the shaded lane. As of this recording, LeBron is shooting at a ridiculous 75.9% clip in the restricted zone and 72.1% from less than 5 feet. LeBron has been getting a lot of easy baskets as of late by simply outracing the opposing team to the other end of the floor and quickly planting himself deep in the paint before the defense can even set up. You can see here that after AD grabs the board, LeBron has already established a deep position and because of his size, overplaying him in this situation doesn't really work. And so AD just throws it to him and LeBron just powers his way through for the easy bucket. Now, if you play him with his back against the basket on a single coverage, he'll just bully his way inside straight up and eat whoever is guarding him. As you can observe, the game has slowly become easier for LeBron in the last couple of years as he has learned how to pick his spots and be more methodical in dissecting the defense without tiring himself that much. Anyway, on top of the improvements that he made offensively this season, what's even more surprising is that he still can keep up with the young cats of the league in terms of defense at year 21. In this in-season tournament matchup against the Suns, Beal thought that he had a wide open lane ahead of him, but out of nowhere, LeBron suddenly pops out coming from the weak side and just flat out destroys him with this rejection. And after the Lakers turn the ball over here, look at how fast LeBron sprints back, as if he's just 19 years old. And just when Hero thought that he was going to have an easy two, LeBron is there to spoil his plans with this patented chase down block. In his 21st year in the league, LeBron shows no signs of slowing down with the way he's playing at a high level right now. Aside from the major strides that he made in the three-point region and down at the paint this season, LeBron is still one of the best downhill drivers in the game, and his vision as well as his playmaking is still sharp as ever. Well, speaking of which, here's LeBron leading the break after picking up a steal, and just as he crosses the half court, he locates Jackson Hayes with a no-look dime for the easy, fast break finish, and even if the defense pressures him, LeBron can still find a way to squeeze one through just like what he did here against the Magic. From the way he's taking care of his body and his incredible dedication to evolving his game year after year, I think LeBron has found the formula to beat Father Time or at least momentarily delay his arrival. Based on what we're seeing right now, the soon-to-be 39-year-old LeBron James is still carrying the Lakers as their main guy with AD not yet ready to take the driver's seat away from him. As he continues to defy the concept of time and physics, I really don't know how long LeBron can keep this up, but until then, the best thing that we can do is to sit back and just appreciate his greatness while he's still around.